going to go ahead and transfer our grid for the color chart. And again, securing with tape. Check the image, make sure that it transferred properly on both sides. There we go. All right, the next step we're going to do is go ahead and put the names of the paints directly onto the color chart. First is the Paranone Orange. Next is the Transparent Yellow Oxide. And third is the Diopside Genuine. Daniel Smith Primatech color. And you want to go ahead and put these on both sides of the color chart. start painting our chart. So because I don't want to get this messy, I'm going to go ahead and cover it with this again. I'm going to go ahead and put out our colors. In the first one, Paranoid Orange, nice bright opaque orange, Transparent Yellow Oxide, and the third is the Diopside Genuine. First in order on our chart is going to be the Paranone Orange. We're going to want to paint the label on the top and the side. And then filling the square where they meet with the full color. The next one here is going to be the Transparent Yellow Oxide, again where they meet. strength square of that color. For the third one, the Diopside Genuine. That's a beautiful bright green. All right. The top and the side of the chart, and then where the two colors meet, the full square of the color. Our first mixture today, we're going to use the Paranone Orange and the Transparent Yellow. We're going to be doing this wet and wet directly on the paper for this first section. I'm going to paint half of the square with the Paranone Orange. And while it's still wet, grabbing the Transparent Yellow Oxide and filling out the square. Again, allowing them to mix directly on the paper. Next one in a row here is the Paranone Orange and Diopside Genuine. So again, grabbing a bit of the Paranone Orange, painting one half of the square. And then the Diopside Genuine, while it's still wet, again, allowing them to mix directly in the square. The last wet and wet mixture, we're going to do the transparent yellow with the diopside genuine. This time starting with the transparent yellow. Painting in half the square. And again, while it's still wet, adding the diopside genuine. And allowing them to mix directly in that square, right in the center there. 
for the second half of this chart, we're going to mix them in the palette, the Paranone Orange first. And then the transparent yellow oxide. And using that mixture and painting directly in the square and filling it completely. For the next one, we use the Paranone Orange and the Diopside Genuine. And mix it in the palette. And painting the full square of that mixture. For the last mixture on this chart, we're going to use the Diopside Genuine and the Transparent Yellow. One last time, mixing directly in the palette. And then painting in the full square. There we go. Now we have a good representation of what those three colors can do together. We'll allow that to dry for a minute, and then we'll go on painting our image.